Friends, let's start with the biggest news first. In the new release of Blender 5.0, a powerful feature has been added. DLSS, Deep Learning, Super Sampling. Now what exactly is DLSS? Simply put, it's a technology that uses your graphics cards, artificial intelligence. It processes the scene in lower resolution and then smartly upscales it into high resolution. Here's what this means for you. The viewport will feel much faster and smoother than before. Cycles rendering will save a lot of time. Even heavy projects and complex scenes will now run much more easily. So, if your system felt slow before or rendering used to be a struggle, DLSS will make the same tasks much easier. That's why this new feature in Blender 5.0 is being called a true game changer, and it's the main reason artists worldwide are so excited for this update. Alongside DLSS, Blender 5.0 has also brought major performance improvements. Now, even massive and heavy models containing millions of vertices can be handled much more smoothly than ever before. Whether you are creating breathtaking game environments or working on high-end film modeling, you no longer need to worry about your system slowing down or freezing constantly. This update gives creators a whole new level of freedom, allowing them to unleash their creativity without interruptions. Friends, if you work on 2D animation, then Blender 5.0 has another amazing gift for you. Motion Blur. Here's how it works. Whenever your character moves quickly, whether they are running, jumping, or making a fast action a subtle blur effect will automatically appear. This looks exactly like what we see in movies or professional cartoons. The biggest advantage of this feature is that it makes your animations look much more realistic feel smoother and more natural in motion, become far more engaging and visually appealing for the audience. In short, your characters will no longer look stiff or robotic. Instead, they'll move with the same flow and quality you'd expect from high-end productions. In Blender 5.0, not only have new features been added, but the user interface has also been upgraded. Now you can easily drag and reorder shape keys according to your preference, making the workflow much smoother. The outliner has been improved for better navigation so managing objects is easier than ever, and the menus are now more organized and structured, allowing you to quickly find what you need without hassle. The benefits are clear. Beginners will find the interface friendlier and easier to learn. Professionals will experience a faster, more efficient workflow. Friends, if you use Blender for video editing, here's some great news. Now, whenever you add a new strip, it will appear exactly at the current position of the cursor, instead of somewhere else where you'd have to readjust it manually. It may seem like a small change, but it's actually a time-saving feature that makes your editing workflow faster, smoother, and much more efficient. Friends, in Blender 5.0, not only features in the user interface have been improved, but the rendering system has also become more powerful and realistic. Here's what's new. Subsurface scattering SSS is now more realistic than ever. This means light interaction on skin, plastics, and other semi-transparent materials looks much smoother and natural. Volume rendering now uses Nano VDB, which reduces memory usage, allows complex smoke, fog, or other volumetric effects to be rendered faster and more efficiently. The result is that large and detailed scenes now appear more realistic, smoother, and professionally polished than ever before. Friends, if you are working on Linux using Vulkan with Wayland, here's some great news. Blender 5.0 now includes initial support for HDR displays. This feature is still experimental, meaning it's not fully stable yet but in the future, it will definitely bring major improvements. Another important update is that after Blender 5.0, Intel-based Mac systems will no longer be officially supported. This means Blender will now run best on new Apple Silicon Macs. So, these were the new features revealed in Blender 5.0. The biggest one is DLSS, which will undoubtedly give your system a performance boost. The other improvements make your workflow faster, easier, and more realistic than ever before. Which of these features do you like the most? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. Until the next video, take care and goodbye.